you will not love all parts of the subject which is very important to remember during residency it's like having a best friend you'll not always love them but they will still be your best friend in your good times and bad Hi guys and today we have a very special guest Dr Rakshita an ENT specialist recently passed out from MVJ Medical College and Hospital Bangalore thank you for joining Hi Shivam thank you for having me So Dr Rakshita pursued an MS in ENT and today we will talk about the choice of domains for post graduation So let's begin firstly like what are the factors one should keep in mind while selecting a domain for post graduation Um I think it's important to kind of broadly classify your interest in a post graduation subject into one of two things uh, one is either clinical and two is non clinical again no judgments there is no need to kind of go with the flow of sab log doctor clinical karne ke liye bante hain no we need people to do subjects like microbiology anatomy physiology in fact these are the people who have given the maximum contribution in medical literature and even in other clinical subjects so again clinical versus non clinical in clinical again it's very important to decide whether it is a medical subject a surgical subject or a subject that is not entirely clinical what i mean by that is if you're going for a medical subject uh, like if medical branches such as uh, general medicine or uh, pediatrics interest you then you would fall in that category if it is surgical branches like if you enjoy cutting if you enjoy your suturing if you enjoy you know ulcer dressings things like that during your internship then definitely surgical branches are for you so under that you would have general surgery you would have uh, obst- obstetrics and gynecology you would have uh, ent and you would have uh, ophthalmology and then you would have other branches like pathology or uh, radiology which doesn't have a lot of uh, clinical patient interaction but at the same time they're just as challenging and they're just as important to supplement our um, sort of clinical diagnosis and treatment so what is the most important thing to classify yourself in the entire thing is one to do very very serious internship which is uh, if you don't know which branch you want to go into to do all of your rotations very seriously and no matter how big or small the rotation may be it's important to tell yourself do i see myself in this branch say 5 years down the line again um, i think if you feel a subject like for example in my field usually for interns ent is just a 15 day uh, posting and there's not a lot of exposure that you would come across in 15 days uh, so uh, it's a good idea to kind of sort of list down the subjects that you're interested in or passionate about and then probably take a 3 or 6 months observership or something like shadowing another professor or a doctor uh, so that you can work in that specialty and really understand if you like that subject because again if you don't like it you won't be able to take the number of toiling hours uh, residency becomes difficult post residency how to go about everything becomes very complicated so again passion for the subject needs to be discovered and uh, i think we should not decide based on things like how much does the branch uh, earn you later on or how much uh, scope would it have or what is the market value of that particular subject because uh, shivam at least in medicine it is very sort of unpredictable 10 years back nobody used to take radiology it used to be a supplementary branch just to do with ultrasound and x rays and people used to be like Uh, you know the the men of the dark who don't want to you know go out and and see patients are the ones who are going to sit in a dark room and do our diagnosis for us so uh, it's a paradigm shift now now every topper wants to be a radiologist because it's so clinically challenging to diagnose and the you know the advancements and all that so uh, the choices become endless the cap to how much you can earn becomes endless uh the kind of places you can work with become endless so you create the opportunities you create the money so uh your uh, sort of uh, bulls eye on how to select a branch has to be passion has to be interest and love for the subject and again you will not love all parts of the subject which is very important to remember during residency you will it's like having a best friend you'll not always love them but they will still be your best friend in your good times and bad so yeah Okay so I'll put an end to this too because you pretty much summed up everything in answer to the question so thank you Dr Rakshita it was a wonderful session thank you once again thank you Shivam thank you for having me